You ever start a day where you wake up in the morning, sun is shining, and you think, I'm going to be positive today. That's for me. I'm going to love my neighbor. I'm going to love God. I'm going to love myself. That's what they preach every Sunday. And by golly, this might be the one day that I actually do that. You get in your car, you start going to work, and somebody cuts off in front of you. And you think, oh, that's okay. They might be in a more of a hurry than I am. Even though they're driving sporadically and like an idiot, maybe they're okay, you know. And you try your best and you get to, to work and suddenly the boss just puts like a, this entire pile of stuff that you know the boss should have done themselves, but they, it puts it right there. And it's already next to the other pile of stuff and already you're feeling overwhelmed. But you try to keep that positive attitude, you know. And then lunch comes and you realize that you forgot your lunch. And so you go to the break room, which smells like a bathroom and you realize that the people that you work with are pigs. <laughs> you open the microwave, for some reason, it looks like a scientific experiment gone bad, but it still smells like popcorn. <laughs> you get back to your cubicle, you find just something to nibble on, and you hear the person next to you chatting on the phone on a personal phone call, which is fine, but they've been on that personal phone call for six days. You have the other person that's been eating their lunch, which smells not like a lunch and they're eating with their mouth open and they're making all these clicking noises and it's just driving you crazy. Finally work gets done, you get in your car and you start to drive home. You listen to the news and it's just all sorts of bad things and you're hearing opinions and everything like that and everything and the other, and other people, you know, instead of cutting you off, they're now in front of you and nobody's going fast enough because you want to get home and you don't have room to cut in front of you. So finally, you're just at the breaking point. You get home, and there's your lovely spouse staring at you and just saying, hi, hey, before you come in, can you take out the trash? And you go, that is it! I hate you! And you take everything out on them. This ever happened to anybody else but me? No? What an innocent group of people we have here.